Yeah, now I believe, and you can obviously correct me if I'm wrong, but Brown Sugar was your first, um, that was your film debut, is that correct? It was actually Love and Basketball was the first Oh, one. it was Love and Basketball was mm-hmm. the one. Okay, yeah, I can't remember yeah. which one which one came first. Um, yeah, I was just yeah. sticking to Brown, Brown Sugar for now because I believe they just, it was just a milestone. Um, I think 29 years or 20 something years ago, it, it yeah, came out. Like yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, marriage on my menu, my man Kelby. <laughs> so corny! Oh my god! It was. It was. So, oh my it god! Was so you know, I made I made that up. I made that up on the fly, which that is that was an ad lib. It was an ad lib, and um, because I was corny. So there you have it. It was a, it was a corny ass ad lib by a corny ass German African who tried his best to sound American, and it and he failed miserably, and now people. <laughs> People keep telling me about that that verse. Oh my god, it was so terrible. Yeah, that was that was my first. It's my first movie. It was it was it was a great experience. It was it was really funny too because a little background story. So that we shot that in two thousand one, a month after nine eleven, we were in New York shooting that, and I had just gotten a break from Soul Food, a second season which was right around the time when me and Nicole started getting into it, like personally. And it got really heated on set because we felt, we really felt like I knew she was my person, but she was still struggling a little bit because she was like, yeah, you know, he model, blah, blah. He's an actor, blah, blah, blah. She was trying to tell herself I'm not the one, but I knew, I knew. And so she was a little bit, she was standoffish and stubborn and, you know, so the season was over. We wrapped and we said to each other, "It's maybe it's good that we have a break over the summer before we start shooting in the fall to just get away from each other a little bit. And two weeks later, we were both on a set of Brown Sugar in New York. There you have it. Did you have no so idea was she was like, up for a role? Did you? Did... I, I, I got the part first and. We were sitting together at lunch with some other people uh, on the set, and everybody was saying what they were going to do in the summer. And I said, "Yeah, I just got this part on Brown Sugar," and she literally smacked her like fork down, and she was like, "God damn it!" <laughs> and I didn't know what was wrong. And she later on told me that she had gotten the call that she got the part in the in the same movie, and she was like frustrated because she was like, "God was like telling her, <laughs> like, listen, this dude, he might be the one." But uh, yeah, and then we ended up on in New York together shooting that movie. Um, so since you obviously since you brought her into the conversation, so how exactly did you guys wind up hooking up? I know you hooked up on Soul Food, which, by the way, can they make that available somewhere? Please, for the love of God, like that know, was right? my show. Oh yeah, all right, oh, yeah, I know. That was a great show, and um. I, I would love to see it. Netflix, somebody, Hulu, somebody please put cell phone on it's something. It's weird, right? It's strange. It yeah. is weird. They should. They should. It's, they should pick that up. Yeah. They should. But how did how did the romance begin? Who wooed who? What is g- give me your version of what happened? My version <laughs> is my version is that I first got there. Um, I was the newbie. It was my first job. Um, you know, after everything that we discussed. Um, super excited, super nervous. And she was, you know, obviously she was an unbelievable actress, stage, movies, TV, everything. And, um, but she really embraced me. Like she was super nice to me. I remember that. Super heartwarming and nice. And she really helped me a lot, breaking down the scripts, expl- explaining to me what was going on. I had a million questions. Um, when I read the script, half the stuff I didn't understand, right? Because there were colloquialisms, there were references to old TV shows that I'd never seen in my life. So I would always come to her and ask her about certain things that I was supposed to say, and I didn't know what it meant. So she was super helpful, always super kind and, and nice. And she made me better. She was such a dope actress, and I was so fresh and new. She helped me a lot. So she was kind, and I liked her from the beginning. Obviously, she was beautiful and everything, but... I liked her from the beginning. She was super nice. And um, she was married. So she, yeah, she was in a relationship. I I was with someone. And um, 
so it was a great working relationship. Friends, we're in Toronto, so we did a whole lot of stuff together. Went to restaurants and stuff, so we became really good friends. It started getting tricky when the second year, second season, I think, when the whole entire crew was over us. The whole crew was like, y'all MFs, you better get that shit together because we know, you know, are you guys blind? You know, basically. And then the whole world wanted us to be together too because the show had come out and they loved the relationship and everybody was uh, Terry and Damon and Every time you went through the airport, people were in your business and talking about how Terry shouldn't treat Damon. It was like, a, it was crazy. It was really crazy. And then one day I walked in a trailer and I said to her, uh, by the way, we're going to be married with two kids one day. And I just walked out. That didn't go over very, very well. She was, <laughs> she was mad. She was mad for three weeks. But think about it. Why was she mad, though? Because she, she was mad? right. She didn't fit. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Because if it was just a joke to her, she would have just laughed and moved on, right? So, and then came Brown Sugar. That was that summer. So at in New York, we started hanging out more. And then six months later, Tay got married in Jamaica. And I asked her to go with me to Jamaica. We were both invited individually, but I said, look, let's just go together. And that was sort of the beginning. So 2002, April, we were, yeah. And uh, I think she got divorced, I think, a couple months before that. Um, so it was, yeah, that was the beginning. <laughs> so what I took from Two years later, we what the, I proposed, and we got married a year after that. So what I took from that story is you snatched. That's what I took. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. That's what no, I took no, no. from it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I we we took our time. You know, the, it was great that we had two years of getting to know each other as as friends and and coworkers and all that. I think that was very important. Um, and then, you know what? I always tell people, travel, travel, go take that person you think you like so much and travel. Because when you travel with somebody, the real personality comes out, how they treat other people, how they adapt to new environments, you know, how they act when they're tired. Uh, uh, we traveled from, the, I took her to Europe and I showed her where I grew up. I, I introduced her to everybody, my friends, my family. I went to see my dad who I hadn't seen in years introduced him to her and, and took her on a whole tour through Europe, showed her everything. And I think that also was instrumental in us just sort of locking in, you know, uh, and we've been traveling is our love language. Like, uh, we always say that because we just love getting up and just leaving and going. We've done it with our kids ever since they were babies, taking them everywhere to show them that the U S is just one part of the world. It's not, the actual nucleus of the universe, like everybody else is, is, uh, loves to say. Um, and it just opens, you know, it expands their horizons, opens their minds to, to, to different cultures and people. And so that's definitely something we've always enjoyed. <laughs> well, I'm glad you gave me uh, your version of it. Um, it's a lot more so. Did you ask her? Did you ask her? Uh, I, I believe I did ask her, and her version was was very similar to yours. But I don't think she told me the part about you proclaiming that y'all were gonna have two kids and be married. I think oh, she might have left that part out. It's on the record, it, it's true. Yep. You ask her. Like I did that. She was mad for three weeks. <laughs>